The map was made for something for its materials. If the, the artworks or its something was fixed, you need a map. If the, all the artworks was moving, we cannot make a map. What we want is a, it's more like an experience and uh, try to make the people to be one part of it, you know, our imagination or creativities. That is, you know, like life. The life is uh, nobody gave you a map. Dude, there is no right answers. By using digital technology, we can create artworks that are responsive, that change according to the space, that change according to visitors' behavior and their movements. So art now has so much more flexibility and this sort of inherent interactivity that we can build in such that the artwork is more immersive, more engaging. All the works was communicate each other and uh, there was no boundary between artworks and artworks and even there is no boundary between visitors and artworks. The visitor is a part of the artwork. That's one of the main things about Team Lab's work, is that the visitor themselves changes, participates in, and affects the artwork around them. We wanted to create a museum where visitors are encouraged to wander, explore, and discover. That's sort of the tagline of Borderless. We want to create something that has no distinct path, something where you are encouraged to find your own way at Team Lab, through all of our exhibitions and through Team Lab Borderless, we encourage people to explore the world in higher dimensions, to go in and physically experience a space and to physically engage with it. It is only by wandering around a space, by touching the walls, by climbing over uneven footing, that we feel that we can truly engage uh, with the world around us and understand it. Paint is light, and the canvas is uh, everywhere. And uh, behind of that, of course, that is uh, software. We cannot see it. It exists in the uh, digital world. We're just using of this in our own technology to show it of this in our imaginations, to use of this in our language, computer language, and try to show it with 